Hello, it's Stephanie here, and I am making a video for my mobile home, Intentional Mobile Home Living channel. So it's it's about February, in the middle of February now. Valentine's Day's over. I hope everybody had a lovely time with whoever that they love, and um, hope you just have more love. Anyways, well, I've been living um, on the street. Well, in my mobile home, it's parked on the side of the street and I don't have water um, well I have water but I don't have running water so I boil water to do my dishes and I made a little video about that it's gonna be like super short just like kind of how I'm doing my dishes so you you guys could see and um, so yeah no water I have I have food. I have lots of food. Um, I have a lot of food. I can cook. I can cook. I can store my food in my cooler, um, which I could just get some dry ice and keep like a little bit of meat that I will be eating or whatever for the week. Um, cold in, and I store it in my fridge, which I'll show you at the end of the video. And um, so yeah, no water. So I, I have a membership at the YMCA and I can go there and shower and work out and just kind of get my body all healthy and use the sauna. Oh, it's so nice to have a hot sauna. Um, but anyways, I, I was um, living in my apartment for 13 years and I just had to get out. I couldn't stand it anymore. And this mobile home seemed like the best investment for my money since um, I'm working and working full time at a bakery and I have the best job um, I could even ever ask for. They feed me, they they know I'm living in my mobile home and nobody judges me. And we deliver bread and pastries and delicious food to to delis and, and restaurants all over town. And yeah, the bakery that I do work for has like four different delis restaurant kind of things that they they serve it's, it's avenue bread it's called avenue bread and um yeah so basically i feel blessed that i get to make food that or i don't make the food i package the food i just feel blessed that i'm putting love into the food that's going out into the community so that makes me feel happy and i'm a, i'm unusually happy i'm just i'm kind of to some people, I think that I'm unusually happy. Um, I get excited about just the littlest things. If I see something working out for somebody, if I see something, somebody making progress in their lives, like I get like excited about little things. So little things make me, make me happy because they, they add up to big things, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know what else I'm trying to say here for my video. I just need to make a video. I've been putting off making videos because I feel like I have to have some really profound message to say. But I, I really just need to let you guys know who I am and what I'm doing and why I'm doing what I'm doing. And when my mobile home is running, I'm going to be making videos of the various places that I go visit and choose to sleep. And my kitty is living on my mobile home now. I was really worried about how she would how she would fare in the mobile home. But my son took care of her for a little while and, and then she came to live with me. And now she is living with me and maybe I can get a little video of her. She's sleeping. Let's go look at her. Let's go, let's go meet Carm. She says hello. There's my kitty. So she likes it. She likes sleeping up on the top bunk there. That's the uh, bunk above the above the cab. There's the yeah the, the bunk above the cab where we drive in the from the cab. So there she is. That's Miss Karma. Hey, hi, Karma. Well, there's her. Hello. So dealing with living on the side of the road, is, I, th I thought, you know, I needed to be mobile before I started like actually making videos, but 
just really doesn't matter. I'm, I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of service that I'm trying to organize in a way to give to lots of people and um, with Motor Club of America. So if I ever need to tow my mobile home anywhere, which I just don't right now because the repairs are gonna get done. Um, so I have MCA if I needed to tow my mobile home, I could. And uh, I'm about to warm up my coffee. So I guess I'll end with showing you how I warm up my coffee and how I keep my food at the moment. I don't use my fridge even though I could with the um, propane, but I just choose to keep my stuff in a cooler, a little cooler that's just sitting in my fridge. Cooler, it's about that big and I can put my food in it and keep, keep other things that are non-perishable. So, yep, just keeping non-perishable food. I cook in my kitchen, my lovely, beautiful kitchen that I love so much with my my, my prized possession is my coffee percolator here. And this is what I do to heat up my coffee. Here's my, uh, my coffee from earlier. It's cold now because I have the window open to let some air in. So this is how I warm up my coffee. Let's turn the light on. I don't use a microwave because microwaves are bad for you. So, I'll just turn on my heat here. The uh, gas. Who does not love a propane gas stove? Let me tell you. I sure do. Anyways, so I will just warm up my coffee in my percolator that you, it used to belong to my dad. My percolator. So, I, I love it. It's my favorite. My favorite thing in my mobile home, I think, is my coffee percolator. But anyways, that's it for the video today. And say bye, Karma. Oh, she's going to tear up my beds. Anyways, um, have a nice day and enjoy the vlog. Keep vlogging. Build your businesses. There's so much happening online. It's amazing. Um, I'm just flabbergasted by... The, the, the things that are happening. There is literally history going down right now, but that, more on that later. Have a good day. Bye.